Hello and welcome back to MRCPCS team. Today's topic is autosomal dominant. So I will be discussing briefly about this. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about my channel and please, please do not forget to subscribe. Guys, go to my channel, there you can find different playlists. If you click once on that, each and every video in that topic will be played automatically. So just sit back, listen to my videos and keep enjoying. If you think if I made any mistakes at any time, please please send me a personal messages so that I can improve myself. That's very important. Okay guys, let me start with this. I need your support. I need your help. Let me start. Okay, what is autosomal dominant is a single abnormal gene on one of the first 22 non-sex chromosomes from either parents can cause an autosomal dominant. Autosomal disorder, sorry. The dominant inheritance means an abnormal gene from one parent can cause disease. Even though the matching gene from other parent is normal, the abnormal gene dominates. So this is the concept that you need to know. If you have a two genes, one is a dominant, then it, it gives rise to the disease. So this is the diagram that you can remember. The affected father, the unaffected mother. The pink one is a recessive gene and the blue one or a green one is a dominant gene. So just go through this once at least you will remember for a longer time. You can see over here the affected child he has a single dominant gene that's why he has developed the disease. Whereas she has she doesn't have anything whoever has a single dominant gene they have developed the disease that's very important those who doesn't have they don't they did not develop that's the important point what you need to know okay the causes the important causes what you need to know there's a mnemonic for that um dystrophicus myotonic osteogenesis imperfecta marfan syndrome intermittent porphyria nunan syndrome adult polycystic kidney disease, achondroplasia, neurofibromatosis, tuberous sclerosis. Guys, remember about this and if you have any questions, please, please, and if you have any feedback, please send me. Thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. See you soon in the next awesome video with me on MRCPCH team.